Hey everybody, this is Mohammed again. I um, in the last video I talked about how we're gonna um, or you're gonna be asked to create a key in order to uh, encrypt your Windows machine's password and uh, recover that password and log in remotely. So uh, in this video I'll show you how um, you do that. So here's the uh, after you log in to your AWS, you're gonna go to EC2. And um, we're going to uh, go to running instances. And notice I have zero here. Uh, again, here I'm on Oregon. Uh, but you may want to do this um, in another region. There's obviously other regions. If you want to connect to uh, something in Chicago, I would recommend the Ohio uh, instance or uh, region. Um, so here we're going to hit launch. And we're going to pick the uh, Microsoft Windows Server 2019 base and make sure it is the um, the image that has this logo or this um, marking on it, free tier eligible. That tells me that this is offered by Amazon and not uh, someone who uploaded it to Amazon with whatever he wants to put on uh, his Windows instance. So this is basically a base windows instance i'm going to pick uh, that one and i did talk about uh, if you want to have um, a machine that is good for um, electronic trading or automated trading you want to do filter by compute optimized and you want something that has at least eight cpus and 16 gigs of memory but i don't recommend this C5Ns, I recommend the C5D 2x large as your um, base setup. Uh, this you get 16 gigs of memory because when you are doing some back testing, that would require a lot of memory, and you get 10 gigabits of bandwidth to the internet. So I would recommend that or higher. Um, if you um, want to connect to the machine and do actually some trading on it with multiple monitors and have uh, some graphic demands that you um, want to get out of that box, I would recommend you go with the GPU instances. These instances are a lot more expensive, but they also uh, would allow you to be like this could be actually your if you have a good connection to the Internet, this could be your um, your trading setup, uh, your trading workstation. Um, you would you could connect your, like let's say you have four monitors or eight monitors locally, you can remote into that box and have that many monitors on the machine. I haven't, I haven't actually done any more than two, but I'm not sure if, um, so I'm not sure if RDP remote desktop would allow more than two monitors, but it didn't seem like it, um, it cares. So um, I think it would uh, channel all monitors across the internet. Um, Anyway, um, if you can afford it, I would recommend you go with this option right here. Uh, 32 CPUs, 128 gigs of memory, 900 gigs of solid state, and you get the benefit of going from that tier to this uh, 50 gigabit bandwidth to the internet. Um, so that's a good, really good setup. And, and again, this is an expensive machine, so if you don't make that much money, uh, from your trading, there's no point running this. It's just going to be a waste until you actually uh, get to be on a professional level. Um, so for this demo, I'm not going to do any of that. I'm going to go with actually with the free uh, tier, just so, um, and I'm going to throw it away at, eventually at the end. So, um, or actually, let's just to be more realistic. I'll do the compute optimized, and I'll delete it uh, soon enough. So we'll do. 8 CPU, 16 gigs of memory, this guy is right here, and uh, I'll hit next configure, and we did say about the spot instances, as you can see, this instance right here is about 50 cents uh, per hour, so in a day, this runs you 12 bucks a day, um, so about $360 a um, $360 um, 
per month. That's that's quite the amount, uh, especially that you're on spot, um, which is a lot cheaper than actually um, uh, paying the standard price. Uh, again, the spot price is higher because we are on Oregon, which is one of the busiest regions. It might be actually cheaper in Ohio. Um, nonetheless, the way this works is that you would actually want to put some, if you don't want to run the risk of this machine being shut down and taken away from you and you're losing everything um, because you're on spot. If the spot price goes above your highest bid here, the machine will be taken away and given to someone who can afford it. So you want to put some really high number here if you want to stay in the spot uh, pricing. So you want to say like, say $2 per hour and watch your bills this doesn't change that frequently um, but the last thing you want is this machine being taken away from you while you're in the middle of a trading day for example um, if you don't want any of this hassle and don't wanna, um, you don't mind paying the standard price just turn that off um, the rest you go with the default these uh, are already pre-created for you the network and the subnet um, but you want a public IP address which is already enabled here um, and again this this instance of AWS I haven't changed anything this is the first time I log into it basically and so this should be your experience if you're just coming in um, so um, if this doesn't say enable for any reason you want to make sure it's enabled you need a public IP so you can connect to it remotely and um, I'm going to go on with the uh, configurations. Well, this is good. Shutdown behavior, you want to make sure it's stop, not terminate. Keep it at stop. Um, basically, when you shut down the machine, it just turns it off. If you have it at terminate, that will actually erase the machine. So we don't want that either. Um, you want to do termination protection which um, doesn't prevent you from terminating the machine if you don't want it but it just gives you an extra checkbox so you wouldn't accidentally from the menu remove the machine or erase the machine so you want to do that and you don't need monitoring you don't need any of this stuff um, basically as is is good uh, you can add graphics acceleration that does add extra money though uh, cost uh, at this point, we're going to move to storage, and storage is by default, you get a 3 gig, 30 gig for the OS, and 200 gig on solid state on this instance. Um, other instances, you get more. Um, others, you get less, obviously. So we're going to keep it as is. Tags, we don't have any to add. Security group, um, I'd recommend you do a create new. So basically, you don't change anything here. You want to make sure this is RDP. And you want to make sure this custom says anywhere, which means you can remote desktop into this machine from anywhere. Um, you could obviously lock that down to just your IP address, but if you were like out in the street or on vacation or something, you won't be able to connect to that machine in the story unless you come in here and change that configuration. Um, so otherwise, you just leave it anywhere. And you go review and launch this is our stuff and you this is the part I didn't cover in the last video so you'll hit launch and then it'll say um, you need to create a key you don't have any existing key so you're gonna uh, create a new key pair and you're gonna give it a name uh, we're gonna call it um, my windows key and Basically, what this is is that it's a it's a it's a long uh, string that it will be used to encrypt the password, the administrator password for the new machine that's being created, and only you will have that by virtue of downloading it right here. And Amazon will also keep it in its servers as a secret. If you lose that file on your machine, you will never be able to unlock that box. Neither would Amazon if they wanted to. So make sure you don't lose that file. Uh, and to, to avoid this being a problem for you, I'd recommend that as soon as you log into the machine, you want to change the administrator password to something you know. 
or you want to keep it as it is and maintain the key but create yourself another user that you know the password for and you will be using to trade so in order to move forward now we have to download this key pair it's going to go into your downloads um it's not that guy um so it's my windows key remember this and we're going to launch the instance Okay, um, so that's because of the region, for some reason I can't. So we can try this in another region. <clears throat> I'll go through this really quickly. Um, but bear with me here. I don't want to record this video again. I'm gonna choose the same key. Oh, I don't have a key. Okay, we're gonna create one. Then. So it has the parentheses one launch instance. Let's hope it doesn't fail now. This is about access, I think, because my account, this account is brand new. Um, so it's having, um, it needs to go through validation. So I wonder if I, um, if I make this a free machine, if it will just work. So now that changed. <clears throat> All right. So let's hope this works. Okay. So yeah, um, I think it's because if I pick the machine that actually charges me money, they need to verify that someone to approve my credit card i guess um, but since this is a free machine for the demo's sake it's going to be okay um, so i'm going to go to view instances and you'll see that um, this is under ec2 instances this instance is currently building and spending i'm gonna Fresh here. Let's see if I can get the Windows password. No, not yet. Here we go. So, um, what you want to do now is get the machine information so you can um, remote desktop into it and change the password and install your software and so on. So first you need to um, remember that my Windows key file. I'm going to choose that from here 
and it was the one that had the parentheses 1, so it's this guy. Open it. It's going to put it here. Now it's going to decrypt the password and give me um, the public IP address, which is that, and the password for the administrator. So I'm going to copy this to the clipboard, and I'm going to uh, launch remote desktop. And I think from this point on, you, you can... Um, Basically, it's a Windows machine. You just gonna need to uh, reset the password, um, and um, you know, install Chrome or install whatever you need to install to move on. Uh, that's it for this um, quick lesson, and uh, happy trading! Thank you for watching.